Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wait a Minute production Another new loot edition and I'm at the well, Penang Swimming Club and It's a beautiful day, it rained Oh, today is the 19th of uh, November 2013 It's a Tuesday, it's 10.52pm So the rain has stopped and Yep, the rain has stopped, it rained a bit uh, from let's say 6 p.m. 6:30 p.m. today in around Komta area there. So this is uh, yep something to do with Gundam. So before we go into that, we're gonna take a looky looky at some ships. I'm not moving the camera, the ship is moving. It is as maximum as it can get when it comes to optical zoom. The digital zoom, I didn't like uh, turn it on, so there's no point in putting on the digital zoom because it sucks. Harry ball sex. Lump of shit. Elephant elongated. Pus filled. Gonorrhea and syphilis ridden like Google Plus and YouTube. Quite nice, huh? There's only one ship that I see around here. There's nothing else to see. That's the brightest that we can get. And there it goes. Let's go and take a looky looky on other things and this is the place where is uh, Penang Swimming Club's own uh, shipyard or ship dock Ship dock Let's take a looky looky and see what we find if I So there's uh, like two speed, if you press the lever a bit uh, slow, it will go on zooming a bit slowly and focusing as well and as properly as it can be. Or you can do it as fast as it can zoom or unzoom. So let's take a look at very fast zoom. Nope, that's not the fastest as it can go. Try it again. Faster should be now. And it's trying to focus well, but the lights are there to unfocus it, unfortunately. Now it's focused. Now, nope, yep, yep, nice. Very nice indeed. So it's always beautiful in Penang Swimming Club. The view is nice. Unfortunately, no naked girls, which is very important. But uh, beggars cannot be choosers. Ah, people. Oh, okay. I got something to focus on. Wait a minute. Let's uh, put this tripod properly so it won't be shaky shaky. That's a no gooey. So let's align it and let's go on on an adventure. Okie dokie. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, that's the maximum. Uh. Son of a bitch, it's 40 times already. I don't know whether they can see me or not, but I doubt they can see me at all because I can't really see them in my naked eye. They are just one speck of dust. But with, with this camera, it's 40 times already, I can see them. This is the highest uh, of this, uh, what you call, uh, uh, JVC camcorder, the GZ100 series. 40 times zoom, and that's what you're seeing now. So I can see them, they, I don't think they can see me because they are pretty pretty far away, very very far away. 
and that's it. So let's get back to the topic at hand. And the topic at hand is new loot. It's the scene of uh, Penang Swim Club. It's a Tuesday, so everything is a bit, uh, well, quiet. So I'm going to do uh, freestyle. I'm going to just focus it with my hand. It's not going to be good, okay? It's going to be shaky, shaky. At least it's trying to stabilize it. Because uh, this is at the highest stabilization, the, the what do you call the camera can do. So today, unfortunately, or fortunately, new loot, new loot. So uh, looks like uh, what do you call it, uh, raid comment in uh, Prangin Mall. Uh, the best that they can do uh, to give me free stuff is this one here I'm not sure what it is but it's a uh, Gundam and it's easy to actually assemble so it's for kids mm -hmm, it's Chinese thingy made in Japan what the fuck really oh this is made in Japan eh yeah I guess so because there's uh, some hiraganas here no no katakana puramo teru puramo teru what does that mean I can see the Zaku one here. And what else from uh, the guys at the Ray Comment? Thank you, Ray Comment. In Prangimo. Also, uh, I think it's the same shit actually. No, no. Different weapons. Eh? This is a spear. This is a small short sword. So, different shit, different thing. So, what else? What else? Ah, there's three types. Uh, no, this one has the same sword and it's only blue in color. Hmm. Okay. So, kid stuff. But uh, the more exciting thing from uh, Ray Comet is this one here. Some stickers of their logo which they got it from the internet. So, I don't know about the implications of copyright and stuff. But, uh, well, anything goes. So, let's see. This is Shah Aznable Nandoroid. The Dized? Is there such a word as Nendoroid the Dized? No idea, but I just invented the word. So, this one sticker here, and uh, oh, there are two. One is facing left, and the other one is facing right. How nice. So, cute little figures there. So, we want to promote their brand. This is the one, and how you to promote their brand. But um, unfortunately, a lot of people would not know who the peep. Who the fuck is this guy here, which is also known as uh, Quarter Vagina? But uh, never mind. So it is quite cute. Uh, uh, Shah Asunobu, even though he's uh, quite an a uh, class asshole. And the next one we have is these. These are the ones that I prefer, and uh, they really, really solve a lot of problems for me. As in, I do not need to actually etch the the new Xeon or Xeon logos onto my bike uh, with a, with a masking tape or with a spray gun so this will be big enough for the front of my bike yep and uh, yep yeah it comes in two sizes this one this one's the new Xeon so neo Xeon logo whereas this one is the Xeon logo the, the old one the one year war Xeon logo this one is the one after what happened uh, in the one after the one year war. Yep, that's the Neo Zion. Neo as in the Matrix Neo. So yeah, I'm quite satisfied with uh, all these uh, uh, gimmicks here. Uh, not so on this one, but never mind. That's not that important. But the stickers, I do need them. Uh, I can stick it on my uh, helmet. I can stick it on the side of my bike. It looks, it will look fantastic, and uh, if ever it gets damaged on my bike, I can actually go to uh, Ray Common again and uh, get more of these babies here. So that's it for uh, Ray Comet. I like the stickers; it will do well and nice on my bike. And uh, speaking of bikes, uh, if you want to know what, uh, what. Uh, uh, the owner of 
have uh, another shop uh, on Jalan Jalan Magazine, which is in front of uh, First Avenue Mall, which is next to Komta or was it next to Prangin Mall? So there's a cluster of buildings there. But on Jalan uh, Magazine, at the far end, near the disused area or abandoned shop lots, there is a shop called Model Land Workshop. And that's a place where you can go and hang out and do your spraying of the uh, airbrushing of uh, to uh, not toys, models, uh, particularly Gundams or whatever brand that you want to like increase the awesomeness of. Well, that's the place to actually go. They have to find a, a, a number of selection of uh, Gundams and also uh, the display case there. They have a lot of Gundams and other miscellaneous. Uh, products. I still forgot the. I, I'm just trying to remember the name of that uh, that that show by Gainax before Evangelion, which is awesome. The first series that is the very 1980s, 1990s uh, feel. Uh, that one was awesome. The newer one, not so much. Because the first one they have a lot of boobies and uh, the scene where they are trying to uh, take a sauna or is it a uh, hot spring bath and suddenly the machines pass by and you can see their glory glory bits. So let's see here. My collection of name cards. So Legend, thank you Mr. Alfred uh, for supplying me with uh, <coughs> Excuse me, was that uh, the Master Grade uh, Death Sai from TT Hongli? Of course. Then uh, do a visit Legend in uh, Mega Mall. Then uh, we have. Uh, no, this is not really. This is something to do with. Uh, oh, this one is uh, Red Penang Road, famous Teochew Chendo. So, Mr. Tan, thank you for the interview. And uh, this one is uh, Prangi Mall as well. This is Hobby Acme House. Uh, yep, Hobby Acme House. Thanks for the free gift of uh, what you might call it. Uh, what's the name of it? Uh, the Double O uh, Gundam No, no Great One Out One Hundred Scale. Do visit Hobby Acme House because they have a fine selection of RC models. Uh, things with uh, I believe uh, motor. They have helicopters, they have airplanes, they have cars, they have motorboats, they have tanks as well. And uh, I think uh, they, are, they, op they are open daily. Wow, they open daily. Uh. Every day. Gila uh. Never mind. Business hours from 12.30pm to 9pm. So, uh, do visit them. Uh, uh, most, I think most of the, their core business is repairing the, the RC models. What does RC model, I mean RC mean? Not so sure, not so sure at all. So, if you have any questions about the the shop, uh, it's on the third floor, number one nine zero Mega Mall, Jalan Baru one three six hundred Pry, the Atas Popular Bookstore. So it's on top of the Popular Bookstore, and uh, just opposite the Popular Bookstore is Legend. Just a legend which uh, has a fine selection of Bandai and also third party products. So, this is Red Comet here. So, Mr. Uh, Kit here, and this is a picture of, uh, of uh, where you can find the shop. The shop is at uh, Red Comet, as you can see here, is at the back of the main building of Prangin Mall. It's a fourth floor. 33-4-47 uh, dash dash fourth floor Prangin Mall Jalan Dr. Lim Chui Leong How do I spell this Chui like this? We have never seen such a thing before 10-100 Georgetown Penang Malaysia So do check them out uh, Especially when you, if you are a fan of uh, Why did they put toy store? It's not a toy okay It's uh, statues and models It's not a toy It's never a toy Do not be insulting towards us collectors of awesomeness so uh, yeah go there and uh, take a look at their what uh, 
uh, the collection of Warhammer stuff and also some Gundam goodness. Uh, there's one section about the Raid Comet as you can see here, Shah Azumbo looking very cute in Android form. Uh, check out their displays, they are quite awesome and uh, yeah, uh, hopefully one day I get to cover their, their uh, Warhammer stuff. Especially when they, if or when they have this uh, competition of, of uh, choosing the best looking kits or whatever. So let's go and uh, get to the meat and bones. This is Model Lunch Workshop. And uh, Mr. Adrian here, I had a fun time going, uh, talking to him and him showing me all these awesome models. All types of models which I do really really like because it's not only about the Gundams, it's also about the hentai stuff as well. And there's one section there where there's a nude rubbery figure of a female which you would be you they will, you would approve of it as a of, as a fapping material. No problem about that. I assure you. So uh, do contact them if you have any questions. Uh, they are in on Facebook, as I said earlier in the video. Uh, most of uh, they are open from seven seven o'clock or was it six thirty onwards? And uh, yeah, you you can see his bike. He has those stickers, the Neo Zion and Zion. So he is a may, might be a diehard uh, diehard supporter of the single eye, as they call it in Chinese. So whereabouts is uh, this model land? So this is Jalan Magazine here, as uh, indicated by my uh, thumb. And they are using Google Maps. That's that's better. Uh, of course, I hate uh, Google and Google Plus and YouTube now. So why not use Google Maps? It's good. So it's right about here, and uh, the disused uh, houses is here, and you can see this is this big. Thing, oh no, not this big. This big thing here is the the First Avenue Mall, and uh, next to it is uh, what Traders uh, Prangin Mall is here, where uh, where this Great Comet is. Prangin Mall is here. Then I don't know about this one here. Uh, Komta, the old Komta is here. I uh, don't know. I get a feeling that Komta, even though they have a new uh, IT section, which is uh, looks banking new. Uh, the rest of Komta is kind of like de decrepit, uh, a bit too old and uh, dying of some sort. So it's a shame. Last time, back in like say 20 years ago, it was quite a happening place. But now uh, it's not so good because there are so many other shopping complexes which are more modern, more less. Uh, no, no, sorry, less disgusting. Um, so there are so many choices. There's First Avenue, which is only a stone's throw away if you are the Iron Man, and uh, there's also Prangin Mall uh, that can be considered a mega mall according to Mr. Uh, Alfred from Legend of Mega Mall. And uh, yeah, we discuss a lot about the economics of uh, malls, uh, but it's not in or not on camera, unfortunately. So, yeah, 21 Jala Magazine, go and visit uh, more Model Land Workshop, so, yep, go and visit them, Toronto. So, these are the things that I'm going to, like, uh, mention quite often because they have uh, helped me a bit, and I'm going to help them a bit as well. So, I am quite surprised um, that day, uh, I mean, the, this night, I had the awesome uh, uh, Chinese food. At uh, restaurant one four two or was it one two one two four? I'm not sure. Which is just exactly near or opposite the First Avenue uh, big sign. So uh, when I was at uh, at Model Land Workshop, I asked the guy and say, "Yeah, can I get some free stuff?" And he just wow, he just he was so accommodating and he just uh, say, Which, "What do you want?" So I say, "Okay, Master Green. I don't like the." Unfortunately, I try to. Uh, I always ask him, uh, "Do you have any?" Uh, any pirated stuff, so I, I don't want to like uh, bleed him of his money, or his uh, his con his uh, generosity. But he's so generous! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe it. So, uh, yep, that's the one that I chose. Uh, I think I would have gotten uh, even the master grade sasabi, which is three hundred ringgit. This one here is a uh, price retail at one hundred eighty ringgit. This is a master grade. Uh, Galgog version 2.0 is Char's uh, colors, definitely. Should be Char's uh, mobile suit as well. 
if it's red, if it's crimson red, it is Char's mobile suit. So this is a one eye Zaku, I'm uh, not Zaku, a uh, Zion unit. And uh, yeah, there I, I, I could have chosen so many things. Uh, he was uh, suggesting that I get the GM Master Grade or some other other RX78 dash something something. There were so many RX78s in his shop. Uh, both new and old so he even has that RX78-2 version 3.0 so do check it out uh, yeah uh, it's a nice place uh, you see my videos you you agree with me they have tons and tons of, of models there to actually admire so what were the choices I uh, the choices uh, were that I could choose uh, would be the Sasabi uh, first version that's 300 bucks that's a very big box, so I uh, was considering, nah, I don't want that because uh, that big box, I don't think I can actually port with my bike. I have three boxes already to port back to Ipo in a couple of days time and uh, Sasabi would be too big. That's the ma master grade version. And also because I already done Sasabi in the high grade version, TT Hongli style. Uh, so I don't need that and uh, there were others as well. There is a uh, Bandai uh, Okay, the model land workshop. They are only catering to to original stuff uh, Unfortunately, but they I think they do have s uh, no 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 they don't have any I Don't think they have any uh, Models on display that is from the pirated. I mean the third party uh, Shops in China but in uh, Ray Comet, yes, there there are some. So uh, Kid told me blatantly, sure, no problem. So I have to go back to like the Ray Comet and uh, interview Kid again about his uh, display because there are some interesting things that he has told me while off camera. Unfortunately, he was uh, more like a mulut murai or more uh, open when uh, I'm when when he's not on camera. So I told him I will be coming back. So uh, please uh, tell me. <coughs> Sorry. Tell me what he has uh, told me when the camera was off. So, uh, what are the choices that I had uh, to choose from for Model Land Workshop? Uh, I could have chosen uh, the Tyrion Ground type. That one is from the. It's a mass. It's not a master grade. It is a uh, no grade one out one hundred scale. It's a very big unit. Definitely, very big unit. Uh, that was from Bandai. I did not choose it because I already ordered it from uh, from Chow Kid. So I'm waiting for the TT only version. Uh, what else was there? Uh, there were many. I can't remember. You have to look at the the videos, the shelf where there were a lot of boxes. Uh, okay, I think I can remember. There was a Zaku 2 Master Grade uh, TriStar. There was a Zaku 2 Master Grade uh, Johnny Reedon, which I have already. Then there was the Dom. Yep, the sorry, was it uh, the Rick Dom? Sorry, the Rick Dom, which I already have uh, by Daban model. And uh, I could have chosen also the Master Grade Goof. Uh, yeah, I could have chosen that one as well uh, because it's also not haven't been copied by those uh, guys in China, TT Hongli Daban model, GHD, or Google model or whatnot. Uh, I could have chosen the goof, uh, but the goof is...